U.S. aims to prevent Iran and Hamas from making money in Asia. The United States is concerned about the growing efforts of Iran and Hamas terrorists to raise funds in Southeast Asia, according to Bloomberg. The agency notes that this week U.S. officials are meeting with oil industry executives, regulators and financial institutions in Singapore and Malaysia. The United States wants to tighten restrictions on Iranian oil exports and limit Russia's ability to finance its war against Ukraine. Bloomberg writes that the United States has expressed concern that Russia continues to receive critical components through Southeast Asia using transfers to mask the final destination. These include components used in warfare. The U.S. team also insisted on taking measures to fight against money laundering and raised the issue of the risks associated with the old vessels of Iran's so-called dark fleet. Iran finances Hamas terrorists, so Washington is trying to cut off the revenue streams of both Hamas and Iran. In January, the United Kingdom and the United States imposed sanctions on key figures in the financial networks of Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad. The United States and the United Kingdom decided to impose new sanctions on Iran in response to Tehran's recent attack on Israel. Additionally, the US has added five companies with multiple jurisdictions to the sanctions list, which supply components for the production of steel to the Iranian company Khuzestan Steel Company. Recently, Iran attacked Israel with missile and drones, and Western countries helped repel the attack. Immediately afterwards, there was talk of imposing new sanctions against Iran. First, this was announced by the White House and then by the EU Foreign Policy Chief Josep Borrell. A cargo plane made an emergency landing at Istanbul Airport in Turkey. In the statement made by the Ministry of Transport and Infrastructure, the Boeing 763 type aircraft, with registration mark N110FE, belonging to FedEx Airlines, reported to the Istanbul Airport ATC unit that the front landing gear could not be opened due to hydraulic failure. So, the plane landed on the fuselage. In the statement, it was emphasized that there were no deaths or injuries and the following statements were used. The aircraft that landed at the airport was intervened by the airport rescue and fire fighting service teams and the runway was noted. There were no deaths or injuries in the accident. Experts were appointed by our agency and investigation and investigation studies were initiated. Minister of Transport and Infrastructure Abdulkader Yuraloglu made a statement to TRT News about the incident. Minister Yuraloglu stated that the plane was dragged 370 meters after landing and said, This plane is a cargo plane making a cargo flight from Paris to Istanbul. It is called Boeing 767 to 700 or 763. The pilot contacted the tower and his own indicators showed that the front landing gear was not opened. This situation sometimes appears as not opened on the indicators, but it can be opened physically. The pilot is then made to pass the runway twice and it is visually confirmed by our friends that the front landing gear is not opened, as well as the necessary firefighting, emergency response and rescue teams. It is deployed to appropriate places. In this way, the plane is made to land on the runway. First of all, it lands on the rear wheels and then the plane stops with a drift of approximately 370 meters. Then, there are two pilots. They are taken out of the emergency exit and brought to the appropriate health cabin or section at the airport by the medical team to perform the necessary health checks. <laughs>